Hello, boys and girls. Hello, all. How are you all doing today? Today, the bounce is very much bouncing. Yes. Actually, do footballs bounce? <laughs> they do. They do. They kind of Just bounce. Just a little, yeah. Anyway, we have a star <laughs> on the show today. <laughs> yeah. No, a star. No, no, no. It's, we've had stars. We have a super. A super. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> an, an international superstar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Do you, do you want to introduce yourself? We, we do that. So my name is, of course, Patrice Evra, a.k.a. Mr. I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> or bus stop, like they call me here. Or now they give me a new name, Emeka, so it's a lot of names. Yeah, we need to get you to... like a, a Yoruba boy name, mm. like a Lagos boy name. Okay. Particularly with these glasses. Yeah, I was just telling you about Boy Alinko. That's, that's who yeah. you look like. So it's a, it's a sitcom, an old school sitcom. Yeah. About this crazy family. And there's this... Oh, I feel related. As soon as you say crazy. <laughs> yeah, like, like they're like, insane. Okay. And then okay. there's this guy, like there's this the guy. son. He has these glasses like you're wearing mm. where there's sunglasses on the top and then normal glasses on the, bottom. the bottom. yeah. And okay. he wears them the way the way you wear your glasses. Yeah. Oh, okay. And he thinks he's a ladies' man. Yeah, he thinks he's a baby it's boy. It's very, very... Yeah? Yeah, you should you should check him out. I yeah. will check it, but to be fair, they are old school uh, glasses. I so. quite I quite enjoy. Yeah. The, yeah. I like them. The flipping. Yeah. The the they are mine. Yeah, I love these games. <laughs> it's true. I I just didn't uh, send them, uh, let them out yet. Really? Are, are you mine. are you like branding them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can see, it's like I love this game here. Oh, wow. oh really? Oh, no, no, I'm oh, not joking. Wow. They have like <laughs> I love in, that. In, uh, in blue, in red, and in green. You know, I'm thinking we need a pair. Yeah, yeah nice. we need. Yeah. I think we need. Oh. I like. I'm gonna get it and wait. Yes, on the podcast <laughs> yeah. as like you, my. You will look good. I think so. <laughs> I think this is my vibe. But how are you? I'm still alive. <laughs> you know, people. How, how always Lagos laugh. been? People always. Uh, Lagos being amazing. I, I feel blessed and and grateful. You know, people see me on the screen, see me on my video. But to just like my my first trip, you know, I was coming back to to the African continent, yeah. and of course, uh, Lagos was one of the priority, mm. and I understand why. I I just feel home. I just feel I know the people, you know. As soon as I landed at the airport, the officer and every they were so nice, so welcome. And you know, I've been to the to the slum chess and and those kids, they are. How was that? Yeah, mm. I see why you, you did know, that some first. people they were like, "Oh, are you going there? You have people." <laughs> it's a lot of bad publicity, you know. Yeah. I say, but I'm from the street. That's where mm. I feel the most safe. And I need to break that image, you know, of Africa, of the poverty, of the violence. And those kids, they were genius. Yeah. Playing chess. They can beat like the world champion yeah. in the world. So that's the kind of support. And that's why I had such a wonderful time. Of course, it was a lot of people, you know, they wanted, but I take my time. I'm here because I want to meet people and to know, to know them better in yeah. person, in real life. I've seen that in your trip, you are like meeting with the kids. You are going to all these places. Mm. Is that why you want to come? Yeah, because, you know, uh, I, I think people forget and they just see the end of your career, yeah. you know, mm. what, what you are. But it's a long journey. Yeah. And that's why I want to, to inspire the, the kids. You know, I say in this world, when you blo- you you're born as a black person, is already a disadvantage. Yeah. When you uh, grow up in the street, people call you a gangster, but actually it's about surviving. Mm. That's why I say I'm still alive. You know, when you say, oh, are you? And being sexually abused at the age of 13 is a trauma. I'm yeah. a victim. But all oh, wow. of that, you know, it does. I didn't give up on life. Yeah. I'm passionate about life. So that's why, you know, when I did my book and I talk about all of that in the first chapter, and I think it's the most important chapter because yeah. like I say, it's like, you know, it's easy to reach the top of the pyramid, but to stay at the top mm. is many sacrifice. So that's why for the young generation, for them to understand, you know, life is not easy. It's not. But and I'm a happy. lot of people don't talk about like some of those traumas on mm. the way to mm. when they made it because it's more interesting to focus on now. But other people like reading your book and seeing that, okay, he went through this too and like he made it out. Mm-hmm. Yes, especially in the career that you had because the percentage of people who make it out mm. apart from life challenges just by the dynamics of sports alone mm-hmm. is incredible. Hi guys, did you know that five minutes or less is all you need to send and receive money across the world? If you don't believe me, try send by Flutterwave. You can send and receive money from over 28 countries around the world. It is fast, it is easy and it's extremely secure. If you're in the UK, the US, Canada, wherever, and you really want to send or receive money from Nigeria or other African countries, just send it. Visit send.flutterwave.com, who are also the amazing sponsors of this season of I Said What I Said. 
All right, back to the episode. So one thing we do here is our listeners, they have, let me tell you, they have a lot of problems. So like we put out that they should ask you questions, but they also sent in like their own personal problems yeah, that know. they want you to help them. But because they feel related. So, exactly. You know, so I before know. we get into, into talking to you, we're just going to take, I think one or two issues so we can, you can, you can advise them because yeah. honestly, the things that people send us in here, they're very comfortable. So we've seen a lot of rubbish Mm. on this podcast but I think it'll be fun <laughs> <laughs> oh we also maybe I, I feel like you are a maybe more serious person because FK and I don't give good advice I doubt that he's more serious than us. <laughs> have you have you seen his videos I promise you the first video I saw of him like before I even realized he played football he was in a pink like he was in a bob wig do you know what I mean exactly and so from there I realized that oh this is a fellow on serious person that we're, we're together here no, but because I always say yeah. you know, no matter when you want to like give a strong message you don't have to be serious mm-hmm. you know the message oh I believe that be right. fully I believe that completely I laugh about it. I think everything. life is too that tough is to our be brand. serious that's our thing I love that <laughs> okay so I'm going to do I'm going to start off with like one serious question and the person says hi guys okay they call themselves the chronic overthinker okay says hi guys I really want to know if you guys have any tips for those of us that can't help but overthink every single situation it's really a struggle because I lose sight of all the good things happening because I spend time, I spend all my time thinking about all the ways things could go wrong or could possibly go wrong. It's very, very exhausting. I mean, like, it, it sounds like um, someone, you he, he, he want to give up. And, you know, when I, I tell my, my story, many things happen for a reason. Yeah. And people forget, you know, before I be wh- who I was, I, I was begging money in front of shop to, to buy a sandwich. Oh, wow. And that's why I'm like, you know, I give you also an example. Like you say, my, my, my head teacher, um, you have to say what you want to become. Let's yeah. Say. Mm-hmm. I, I, you like know, when you grow up. Lawyers, doctor, you know, all my classmates, they were saying nice job. And I said, I want to be a footballer. And everyone was laughing, even my teacher. Mm. Then she was even going further. She was like, do you think in 300 kids, they're going to pick one? It's going to be you. Wow. And I say, yes. And everyone was laughing. So right now, you know, I don't want to take any revenge against that teacher. I just don't want her to say that to other to kids. Another person. That's why, you know, that person or even other kids, when they say they want to be the president of the universe, even if it doesn't exist, <laughs> I say, go for it. Make the sacrifice. No, for, for this person in particular, I will say, you know, I love this game. It's, it, I could say I love this life. But because sometimes you win, sometimes you yeah, lose. You I think God have a plan for everyone here or the universe for some people they don't believe in god but i is healthy when you wake up ah you have your two legs your two harm you can see that's already a gift yeah. that's already a privilege mm. so that's why you have to create your own world your own happiness so i just say to that person it's going to be fine trust me I have a different viewpoint <laughs> as well i just think that all the one that you've thought this far was what has become of it so i think you should try to stop just stop thinking about things and go for it because when people overthink i think you think that you are like you're giving yourself a better chance mm. but you find that life is random as hell mm. and so what i would suggest to this person is is not a solution to your overthinking but i think for like a week just try actually i'm not going to think deeply about anything i'm just going to be deciding like pick something like pick yeah either you're going to be rolling a dice or you just call your friend a or b anything that one says you just don't call it. Don't, call, don't tell don't them call what it is. Foolish person, no. mm. Don't call me for example. Yeah. That, I can never help you with that. But just because me, so I start saying, mm, mm, "What does it sound like?" <laughs> so I think that you have to put yourself in a situation where you just start moving on vibes and you see what happens. Because mm. a lot of the time, it it doesn't end up differently than when you pondered and pondered and pondered. Like life is moving on. So you, there's some things that you have to think about a lot. Mm-hmm. But for most like decisions in mm. life, what's the grand you consequence? Take a decision and hope yeah, for the best. You just take but a I absolutely agree with you. And that's a little bit also my philosophy of life when you, someone is overthinking, like I, I live the present, you know, I'm yeah. focused on the present because if you think about the past, you're going to live with regret. And if you think about the future, you will live with anxiety and stress. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So just focus in the present. Now, uh, right now I'm focused on the present I'm with these two beautiful women yes, and I'm enjoying my life mm. <laughs> yeah, I like this guy I like this guy yeah okay. okay another one okay so this is our second and our last one and the person calls herself indecisive oh. again and here's what she says if someone likes her yeah. but his mouth his breath stinks 
She doesn't know how to tell him. She doesn't him. know how to tell him. Ah, you have to tell him. You have, <laughs> if you're a good person, if you take care of the friend, that's why I say that. And you know, actually, when they, now they have to wear the mask, I was like, for those people, they have a bad breath. It's good because they're going to fight with, yeah, their, own with their own breath. It's a good but solution. But how does she tell him? How does she he tell like, him? Remember, he likes it's romantic. So he he's likes moving her. to her in a romantic no, way. No, but you have to go like straight for Look. those kind of things. You know, I, I'm like... So how, you say how would you say it? I would say, brush your teeth. <laughs> I'm straight. I would say, brush your teeth quick, sharp, pa, pa. <laughs> then he will understand if you go, no, but you know, sometimes when you speak to me, my nose is bleeding <laughs> or my <laughs> eyes getting raised. You don't need to justify yourself. If he smell, you say, you know, before we talk, brush your teeth. <laughs> or if you, you want some, you know, chewing gum or whatever. No, me for those kind of things like armpit and all of that. Friends, I play with teammates, you know, they were smelling and I, I, I take him straight away. I say, my man, you know, I don't want to talk about behind your back. Do you know, I've always wondered about that. Like well, how, how, do you, how, do, how do the locker room smell? Because I'm like, it must smell Ooh, nasty. Sometime, man, you feel like it's a dead cat in the middle. Because like, you know, <laughs> I'm like, first of all, boys. you guys have been running around the whole exactly. day. Exactly. So imagine all mixing. Then you no haven't sweat. even showered in the ah, first instance. Yeah, no, it's a big, a big, big, uh, big deal. <laughs> it's a big deal but that's why me before the game I had a shower and you know I put some perfume but some people they don't and then even before the game starts you're already dead you can't play because the smell is too strong <laughs> so, what would you say what to the, to the guy mm. me yeah you know I'm an avoidant yeah that's uh, true. <laughs> I think uh, you probably stop talking to him no I <laughs> no you would but I would find it easier to say like a text <laughs> Of course. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll find it way easier to say yeah. in a text. Not to do because you know, you know how difficult it is. If, because when do you say it? Is it just when they start talking? Yeah. Like, oh wow. In, in text, they get more upset. I feel when I receive a text and someone say, "You know what? You are such a bad breath." <laughs> if I look this text, I, I'm gonna you smash my you know what? No, but that's what I mean. No, but in person, like I think if you if you care about that person. I talk you know the thing, there's no issue. sweet way to say yeah, it's not, it's like not a your nice thing to smell. say. So I feel like you just have to say it yeah. and move forward. But he's not even sweet with you when his, his, his breath smells. So what you have yeah, to be like, sweet the with problem, him? Actually, I know what to say. You ah. have to say like, maybe he invites you out or something or to, to come over to his house and you're like, the, the reason I don't want to come over is because your breath stinks. Yeah, because it's uncomfortable mm. for me. Like, so you have to tell him that you want to come, but his breath but stinks. Yes. I think you've made it worse. That's no. No, I think yes, she's, she's more dangerous oh than I. Yes. No, yes. No, he, said, he said you should brush your teeth. How is that? No, straight. Because it's, it's straight. straight. It's like straight. I, said, I love this game. Exactly. Brush your teeth. Uh, I love that. You see, you make him laugh. I love this game, but brush your teeth. But no, over Christmas, you give him some toothpaste. And so I should wait Bro, till December. March. Wait, uh, you, uh, no, you're going to die before Christmas. <laughs> exactly. When is his birthday? You need to find so out for, when is so his birthday. So how are you supposed to kiss somebody that his mouth smells? Can't, no, you have to say no. Do this. I think, I do think. This. And then let me tell you something. My friends are very badly behaved. So, mm. like, if I want to introduce him to them, their faces will show that, ah, bros, I beg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, my family's badly behaved, my friends. So, someone will tell him. My mom will probably tell him. And that would be worse off. Exactly. So, just tell him. You know, a lot of African men have this, like, long nail. Like, the last... Oh my God! You, why? Why do you okay, guys do, do you this? know what? Explain, why do you guys explain, explain this thing? Me. Explain it to me. Explain this thing. I, I, I explain this thing. So people were like, you know, why you do this? Because you play guitar or all? I said, no. It's because he helped me for my nose. Oh my God. <laughs> for my ears. That's, oh that my is, God. No, I, I, I know it's the worst, but That's I tell you the, the truth. <laughs> it's a really good weapon. Oh I use God. it perfectly. And also as an habit, because I grew up like this. Yeah. So that's why this one is short. Like I broke yeah, it. Yeah, but that one. But normally, no, normally they're even longer. Like even oh I know God. women, they say it's disgusting. I say, hey, I need him. <laughs> so the reality is to help what? me to oh my, my nose. Oh my gosh. You, you tell me to be transparent and honest. No, I'm I very am. glad. Well, I'm glad I'm you're just transparent. Like, the you problem like is it, that. You feel so, no, you've said it mm. now and then I'm going to keep seeing guys who have it and just imagine them picking their nose. Look them carefully. They always like, <laughs> you know. Okay, so we have a lot of wild questions here. <laughs> no, I'm not going to lie to you. Someone says, okay, the moral of her story is she needs you to consider being her sperm donor. <laughs> she said, just consider it. She's not forcing you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she said she just I told you uh, people I think she asked... the woman of my life to kill me <laughs> to kill me wow 
No, no it's just she, she, don't, she said you consider. She said you consider. Just consider. Just, just consider. Just consider. Consider. Okay, but ah, yeah. So. I, <laughs> I, I, so this person is called OG, and OG is asking, "What's your favorite car in your collection?" Uh, you know, I, I was crazy when I was young. That's why I say you you make lot of mistake, and and when we talk about lot of money, that's when I was like silly. I yeah. was like What's changing the I, thing? because I was changing car every three months. As in a brand new car. As a brand new car, wow. Ferrari. What do you used Porsche. to do with it? Do you keep everything? No, no. Now I've got. Uh, I won't say only, but I've got uh, two car. You know, I keep uh, two cars. It's one I call call that car the, the Batmobile. It's the one with the wings. It's yeah. not the Batmobile, the Patmobile. Right. Because okay. They, they, yeah, 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 because they call me Patman also. <laughs> Sometimes I do some video with my disguise outfit, but it's Patman. And I got to know how the RS6R is only yeah. 24 in the world. I'm not those crazy people. I've got a friend. I promise you he got 180 car. Sorry? 180. Hey, Does he like car. drive a different one, Paddy? I, I think I think even by by hour. <laughs> no, that's only way. You that's the new way. Yeah, but I know. But it's, it's but like it, six it, o'clock. It's, you have to change it, your car. It, it, it's silly. <laughs> like in the future, like maybe I just don't want to drive. I have also a piano. Yeah. You know where I I have like nice seat and the TV inside, and this is my favorite car because I can work, I can watch, you know, uh, TV or whatever yeah. inside. So I, I stopped that serious. Like, okay, but I think what's, so what has been your favorite one in the whole, in, the whole, your whole in all, your, all the cars you've ever had? Which one has been your favorite car? Wow, is my first uh, ever car, the Golf. I don't know if you Volkswagen. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why was that your favorite car? <laughs> because, because it was the first time yeah, that I bought, bought that one. car. I had a connection with that car. I feel so good about that car. I remember even, you know, when I, I was like pretending, doing a picture with friends next to a car. Pretending yeah. it was my car. I was like pretending to getting in. <laughs> so that's why I say my favorite car is that car because I feel like connected with that yeah. car. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> okay. Another person asking, just, she's just asking, you know, she says, if you're looking for a girlfriend, Kenyan <laughs> women are fantastic. You know, consider Kenya. Yeah, also, there's a lot of, of offers. <laughs> yeah, 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 just generally. Just generally, there's a lot of offers in that direction that if you want like Lagos yeah. branch, no, but yeah, yeah. I, I, girl, I, I don't want to disappoint you, but I'm already taken and while taken, you know, my, my woman, Margot, she's the woman of my life. She's my bestie. So to get to that level, I yeah. will tell you, she helped me to get rid of that toxic masculinity. Mm. And, How do you mean? You know, I mean, like, even like when I talk in my book, my book was finished like three years ago. Mm-hmm. And two months before I release it, I say, guys, I need to change something. They were, are you crazy, Patrice? It's already printed and everything. No, I will explain you why. Because like I say, I've been educated, crying is a weakness. Yeah. And when I meet that woman, I just feel safe. Yeah. I feel like, uh, you know, the communication in relationship is really important. So we were watching a, a documentary about pedophile and she was like, oh my God, if someone do that to my kid, I will get... And I was looking at it and it, it bring me back to the yeah, bad memory. What happened. So she said, Patrice... You okay? I say, yes. She said, no, no, you're not okay, Patrice. We don't like it between each other. I say, yeah, I'm fine. I don't, I didn't like people get into me. Mm. Like I lost my brother. Some of my friends being shot. I never cry. I yeah. stopped crying, you know, when I got, I had uh, this uh, sexual abuse. And she said, come on, Patrice. We're not lying between each other. What's happened? So I tell her. And when I tell her, she cry. So I finally also relieve and yeah. cry. So that's why when people say, oh, Patrice, you're so brave to talk about what's happening to you and everything. I say, no, at that moment, I was at the safe place. And that woman gave me that. So that's why she's more than just uh, my, my wife. Yeah. She's, she's my psychologue. She's my bestie and whatever. And let's talk also about woman. Because Shout when out kids, to her. I love no, that. I, I know, yeah. but also, you know, but that's why like the men, they don't agree. Like, Women are 10 years in advance. Absolutely. You see, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. We got, we got, yeah. I mean, on a, on a normal day or 10 years, on a good day, like 15. Ah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? <laughs> no, but we, we have to stop compare each other because yeah. we are dif- different and we have a different vision. We, we got a different vision. But like kids, you know, when they ask me picture or video, my question sometimes is like, do you respect your mom? If they say no, I won't do it. Because when people ask me, who is your hero, your idol? Mm. They expect me to say players. And I say, it's my mom. Yeah. Without my mom, I won't be here. I know my dad just did like a quick job, you know. <laughs> but he did the easy part. Yeah. But that's, that, that's why I like, it will be difficult now 
take me away from that woman. Uh, please, it's better you stay where you are. I think that <laughs> I see when you have a good thing, there's no there's no need to go and scatter it exactly. for a moment's notice. It's not worth it. No, no. But I true. like that a lot. You don't find that many guys talking about the influence that like the woman mm. they're with have had. And, and especially a, a, an African uh, yeah. a person, it's difficult even for him to talk about to, love. To be expressive. To expressive because we, we've been educated to keep all our emotion. I told you when my dad was punishing me and you receive like a slap and you have to block your emotion. So I grow up that way. And with that woman, don't get me wrong. I wasn't a good guy on my previous marriage. Yeah. So like, I don't want to say now I am a priest, but I just get to a place now when I'm so happy, so content. Yeah. Then I don't need to, to look, you know, in the other, Elsewhere, other direction. Which is great. Okay. I don't know how to pronounce this name, but I'll just say Rebby says, what are your thoughts about the divide between Francophone African countries? And Anglophone countries, and is there anything we can do to address it? So, because the countries are separate, separate. because of language, the people are also, even though there's. I absolutely agree, but I think the you know language is important. I speak six different languages. Wow, what do you and speak? I speak French, Italian, English, Spanish, Portuguese, and Wolof, where mm, I come from, yeah. Senegal. By the way, Wolof. We're going to talk later. Wall of Jollof. Yeah, 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 we're going to talk about it. When you mentioned, I've been to Dakar, so I'm, I, we're going to come to the Jollof Yeah, we're going to come to that fight. Mm. <laughs> First of all, I think like all the Francophone people should like learn how to speak English. And the you English people. So? Yes, because the barrier is, a, I promise you, is a barrier. Yeah. And the problem is also at the African culture, you know. Me, me when I see different uh, people, like the white people, uh, Jewish people, uh, Arabic people, I feel they all together. And we have one problem, African, is like, we're jealous. Yeah. Instead of supporting each other and to help each other, you know, we don't help each other. i give you an example. If two guys, they were best friend and one of them become president, I know he's going to let down his, his best friend. He's going to say, hey, you can't talk with me like, the, like now because I'm the president. And we have this problem. So that's why it came also from us. You know, mm. we, we're going to talk after about the racism and everything. But I feel... Instead of supporting each other, we like, mm, if this guy have a, be- oh, he get that beautiful car. Oh, I'm going to take his car away. Instead of thinking, processing, like I have to work so hard. I'm so proud of him. I want to do the same thing. Yeah. And we have that little problem. Okay. So somebody's asking here, what do you like about Nigerian culture and who your n- favorite Nigerian football player of all time is? I think I love everything. The, the, the joy, the happiness, you know, you know, many people, they were like, ah, oh, Patricia, you're going to Nigeria. Ah, oh, be careful. You know, they're violent. They, they, they. <laughs> when people tell me like this, that's when I want to go see to see on my own eyes. <laughs> yeah. I say it's not that. So that's why when you come here, I, I love everything about the energy, you know, the, the positiveness. And something we have like violence every Everywhere. country. But go. And I even feel maybe some investor, they say like, oh, Nigeria, you know, it's bad because they're already investing here and they don't want to share. <laughs> so they're hiding. So yeah, I say to people, come to, to Nigeria. You my, my, one thing about us, we have a good time. Have have no a matter time. what. But that's what I'm talking. Like even sometimes with nothing, we're still happy. Yeah. My favorite all time football is difficult be- between JJ Okosha and, and Kanu because... JJ, you know, has so many streak and skill. Mm. I copy him. When I was a kid, you know, the most exciting uh, uh, African team was Nigeria. Mm. You know, that's why they, they got a big game against Ghana yeah. uh, later on at six. And now, of course, you know, Senegal are doing so well. We win uh, the African uh, nation. But uh, yeah, I would say JJ. JJ is something else. He's a magician. Okay, before you go, because your team is about to eat us alive. Yeah, they gave us Let's time. Let's talk about this jollof issue. issue. Now, the jollof issue, just the jollof to end, issue. You know, <laughs> I don't want to... Uh, <laughs> you know, you're our guest. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, you're yeah. our guest. Yeah. Our are, are still, girls. There are things still about guests. Yes. Yes. Okay. You know, so, mm. we've been raised to accommodate our guests. <laughs> yes. And it's the same way we accommodate Senegalese jollof. Yes. Yes. You know what I mean? Just, you just, you have to you accommodate. Have to. Like, it's fine. It's okay. It's fine. Hey, you know, it's there. <laughs> you know, wall off. And I went to Dakar and they made a whole thing. I said, you know, you just have to, you have to be polite. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. Right. Yeah, I can't believe that. Now let's go to that subject. Yes. I'll be honest. I came here. I said, Patrice, have you ever had Jollof? I said, no. Okay. So they, they, they put the plate in. I was like, 
But I eat this all my life. <laughs> my mom cooked this all my life. I don't even have to test it. And they say, no, here they call it jollof. I say, no, this is chep. This is from Senegal. <laughs> Look, jollof, <laughs> the language Senegal is a uh, language is wolof. Yeah. Jollof, wolof. Mm. No, already, I know it came, came from, from there. Now we, we're going to say who tests the better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The best. I won't say the Senegalese uh, jollof tests better than the Nigerian wolof. Uh, jollof. Yeah, because you're an honest man. No, but my mom. <laughs> <laughs> She's the best jollof. Okay, that's, that's, fine. that's actually the best that's way. The best way. That is the that. best way to go to okay, go for I'm your safe. mom, so that you don't start what you can't walk. finish. No, don't try. I, I want to travel safe. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a wise man. I'm a clever man. Yeah, I think exactly. going with your mom is the best way for you to go. Mm. But thank you for thank spending you so time much. with us. Okay, it was a great time. It was so much fun. I hope mm. you had a good time. Yeah, I had a really good and time. I hope Trust you enjoy the rest of your time. You will know if I have a bad time. I won't be here. I'm straight. I don't like to lose time in life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, thank you for having me. By the way, you remember when it was a SAS problem here yeah. in Nigeria? Mm-hmm. And I talk with uh, FK and a lot of people, they like to put like hashtag pray for yeah. Nigeria, hashtag pray for this, for that. Me, I'm not those kind of people because I don't need love of people just because I put a hashtag. Mm-hmm. I did my research and I did my research on your podcast. Oh, so thank that's why you. It was, it was destiny. Yeah. When I, they told me, you know, I'm coming here and I say, wait, that postcard is those two uh, ladies. Yeah. I said, I can't believe that. So, no, thank you very much because oh, thank you. You, inspire, you inspire me. Oh, and, uh, yeah. so you and you help me. Wow. When I get to go to tell my dad, I inspire. <laughs> I you know you, I swear for you to be talking to me like this. <laughs> but we, I had a great time. Uh, thank you so oh, much. And have a wonderful yeah. journey. How much longer do you have left? I am leaving uh, tomorrow. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, well. I know. But I've been already here five Hopefully days. we'll jam you before you... Before you we'll okay. have a conversation about that money. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Okay, yeah the one he said he doesn't like he doesn't uh, like yeah. him alright thank you guys for listening thank you so much do All you want right. to tell them you love this game uh, tell them who you people. are again Niger mm-hmm. <laughs> I love this game <laughs>